I just want to like know all the details of like how to use this big X field markings. Like how, what's the, is it eight to five? Like are there eight to five steps even? Is that even a thing? Maybe I just need to go to Japan and make a video. We're in Tokyo, baby. Let's do this. All right, guys, I'm in Shinjuku, and I just dropped all my stuff at the hotel, and so I'm heading on the subway to go meet up with a friend, so let's go. This is my friend Noah, and you might recognize her from this. Noah is one of the most talented and cool people I know, and while I'm in Japan, she offered to be my tour guide. But first, we need to get some food. <laughs> wow. This looks incredible. Oh my god. Okay, in Japan. There's like a brew to eat ramen. Okay. Okay, you have to try the soup first. Okay. Yeah, that's soup a, first. Yeah, that's a rule. Soup first. Yeah. It's a rule in Japan. Always soup first. You can taste it like a house soup. Whoa. Busting. Busting. <laughs> it's kind of raining out here, but we're in what? Shibuya? Yeah, we're in Shibuya. Yeah, walking around the streets, it's like. What time is it now? It's like 1 a.m. or something. But we just had ramen. It was really good. Um, very easy and very fast and very cheap. It's, for the both of us, it was 13 US dollars. You know that? 13 US dollars for both of us. That was amazing. The next day, I woke up early and hopped on the train to go meet my friends in Fujisawa. This is where the marching band show is being held, and the layout kind of reminded me of your typical indoor drumline or winter guard show. All right, we just got to the Akihadai, Akihadai Gymnasium, and uh, we're going to see all these marching bands, and the outside of this looks so cool. Look at that. That's crazy. This is a, this is a big gym. It's like a, it's very cool architecture, but all right, let's go inside. We're here in Fujisawa yeah. at Akihadai Cultural Gymnasium, where they're going to have a competition. Is this the first one of the season? Kind of, yeah. Kind of the first one of the yeah. season? Okay, so there's going to be groups from all the way down at the kindergarten to the elementary, high school, uh, middle school, high school, and, and senior. Then, and senior, independent, like, world kind of group. So, okay. super exciting. So can you tell us, what are these field like? Okay, so you can see, like, we don't have any, like, a football field. So this is like a basketball, mm -hmm. like a so you can see the like, if you go the middle, you can see the big like cross the point, mm -hmm. okay, this is, it would be like, like a center point. Yes. And you can see the, the point, so this is like an 8 to 5. Ah, and so all of these points here yeah. are just different coordinates that you can use. So this is actually bigger than the 8 to 5 thing. This point, at that point, it's wider than the 8 to 5. So the step size is a little bit bigger. Oh, it feels a little bit bigger. It feels a little bit bigger, not gonna lie. I marched the uh, BD Blue Devils in 98 to 99. And where else? Phantom Regiment 96 to 97. And you were the first ever Japanese person to march in the yes, Phantom Regiment. Yes, I am. Wow, that's incredible. This is Satoshi Moromi, and he is actually the founder of this marching band festival. He is an incredibly generous and kind person, and he gave me full access to film throughout the entire festival. Now it's time to watch some elementary school level marching bands.
guys. These elementary schools are insane. Those are elementary schools. And keep in mind, this is the first competition of the season. This is early in the season, but I am blown away by especially the sound and just at an elementary school level, that's insane. That's crazy. All right, we're gonna go head out and uh, see some warm-ups. So right now we are in the warm-up gym. It's like a whole gym where they can warm up and it's it's hot in here. It is it's pretty warm in here and all the groups uh each get a turn inside this warm-up zone and they all have to warm up in the same space. Like the brass is right next to the guard and the percussion and this group is big. This is Shonen Dai High School. It's like one hundred forty five. 145 people in this small gym and it is warm but uh, they're gonna do their thing so let's see what they do. <laughs> After watching some warm-ups, we headed back into the arena to watch some middle school level bands. the most impressive thing about these groups is like especially from a movement side how fluid and natural all of it looks like the technique just everyone understands just the quality of motion the leg shape all that stuff at a degree that I don't ever see at a high school it's very very impressive like I don't you don't see this you just don't see this in in in, in, in the US I just, I don't think so. I think the level of here at here across element, especially at elementary school, but elementary, middle school, high school, it's all higher, it's all higher here. Shonen Dai High School, which is the best high school in Japan, and um, I'm excited to see. We saw a little bit of them in warm up, and they are loud. It's just, it's basically the sound of a drum. It is. Like, it's basically the sound of a drum, and like it's the same as a like people like how how many people do. Yeah, it's the same size of a drum corps, I guess. So um, yeah, very excited to see this, and uh, it's very very impressed so far. It's incredible. <laughs>
I can't. I, I, I'm a loss. I am. I'm at a loss for words. The maturity, like the maturity of performance, is insane. Like these guys move like drum corps level at the high school level. That was unlike anything I've ever seen. That was incredible. That was so good. And they were so loud. I know. The intonation too of every, like especially in the high bass, just the locking in at the center of the pitch just immediately. That's insane. That was so good. I, wow. And it's really seen. First show in the year. Seeing all these marching bands halfway around the world has truly been an eye-opening experience. The level of talent and performance and commitment from kids at every single age group is honestly mind-blowing. And there's so much more to learn about the culture of this activity here in Japan. So, on the next episode, we are going to do exactly that. Perfect. Smile.